Coach Pat Kennedy feels his Towson squad is ready to break into the CAA's upper echelon with three returning starters and several talented newcomers. Speedy Troy Franklin returns at point guard and will be flanked in the backcourt by junior Rayshawn Polk, who developed into a consistent scorer. Senior guards Brian Morris and Josh Brown provide experienced depth. Up front, sophomore Isaiah Fillmore is looking to build off an impressive rookie campaign. He'll be joined in the post by 6'8 Braxton Dupree, a University of Maryland transfer who's expected to make an immediate impact. Troy Franklin's turnaround in, in February was phenomenal. If you take a look at his stats in February, shooting percentages, point totals, assist turnover ratio, probably in February highlighted by his 27 points against William and Mary, uh, really surfaced as the guard we thought he could become. And, and I think people around the league understand how effective Troy can be, not only on the offensive end, but also on the defensive end as well. Towson made its first postseason appearance since 1969 last year, but many of the key performers from that squad have graduated. The Tigers returned six seniors who will step into more prominent roles, led by guards Simona Petroniti and forward Davila Miliaski. From an offensive production standpoint for us, it's turning over, taking care of the ball on the offensive end, not turning it over. Defensively, the challenge is to be able to rebound the ball. We're not big. Uh, so it's a possession game for us. We've got to take care of it on our end, and we've got to rebound and limit it to one. Those will be the two biggest things right now for us as a basketball team to be successful. VCU capped an impressive 27-9 season by capturing the CBI championship in its first year under Coach Shaka Smart. Expectations are high once again with four starters returning. Senior Joey Rodriguez is back to run the attack after dishing out 208 assists and earning all CAA honors. He's joined in the backcourt by defensive stalwart Ed Nixon, and three-point threat Brandon Rozelle. Up front, junior Bradford Burgess developed into a double-digit scorer, and senior forward Jamie Skeen will become the Rams' top option in the post. Well, Joey was as valuable to our team as I think any player in the league was to their respective team, and really did a lot of things when we needed them most. Uh, came up big in some very, very big games. Now, as a senior, we need him to be even more of a floor leader, more of a coach on the floor. Trying to get the guys to all do what Coach Mark's talking about and, uh, you know, have everybody on the same page. And, you know, I got a lot of goals, a lot I want to accomplish. So I'm just going to go out there and do my best and try and have a really good senior year. VCU hopes to continue a run of success that has featured three consecutive 20 win seasons and trips to the postseason. The Rams will rely on all CAA forward Courtney Hurt who is one of the league's top returning scorers and rebounders, along with guard Jennifer Lane. Courtney had a great sophomore year for us. Um, certainly expect her to come in. She's been voted, voted captain on the team. Um, coming into her junior year, really looking for her to emerge as a leader on and off the court, um, just by her leadership day in and day out. Um, certainly something I think she's ready for. Now I have to be that leader that Coach wants me to be because you know young kids and on out the court I have to lead them, you know, be a bigger sister basically and help them out any way I can. William and Mary is coming off one of the most successful seasons in school history. Coach Tony Shaver returns two starters from last year's 22 and 11 squad that earned an NIT berth for the first time since 1983. The tribe will build around junior forward Quinn McDowell, who averaged 14 points per game and earned all CAA honors. Also back up front are leading rebounder Marcus Kitts, three-point threat John Mark Ludwig, and sophomore Kyle Gaylord. Junior Kendricks Brown and sophomore Matt Rum are the top returnees in the backcourt and are expected to move into starting roles. We've played in the CA Championship game two out of the last three years. Now we're knocking on that door, but we want to knock it down one day. Uh, we haven't broken through and won it. We haven't made the NCAA tournament yet, and that's certainly what we want to do with our program. Uh, I think as a competitor, uh, that's what you're after. I think the experience and uh, the culture that is starting to be um, created in this program is one that is uh, we expect to win, and we know that we can play with uh, the best teams in the country and with uh, all the teams in the league. The forecast is promising for William & Mary, which returns four of its five starters from last season. Junior guard Tasia Pye earned all CAA honors after averaging better than 16 points per game, and forward Emily Corral made the league's all-rookie squad. I think what you're going to see is a mature, improved, consistent Tasha this season who can do a little bit of everything well. She's so explosive getting to the basket. Uh, so not only can she finish around the rim, but now she shoots the three pretty well, and she's really starting to develop her passing. So um, we're excited about the future for Tasha Pye and what she can bring to the team for the next two years. It's as simple as hard work. Um, they need to be able to look at me and see that I'm working as hard as I can. 
and um, I need to be the one to um, give them the extra push they need. Uh, and that's just um, where you lead by example. Even with the season just starting, it's never too early to think about postseason play. In fact, it's every team's goal. Next March, the CAA Women's Basketball Championship is taking over the Showplace Arena in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, marking the first neutral site in 12 years. The fact that it's at the Showplace Arena, it's in the middle of the conference where everyone can get to. It's time. I mean, this is a conference, it's top 10 in the country. It's a way that we can continue to grow um, the CAA Women's Basketball. And now we just step on the floor and, and play our best basketball and see what happens. I think everybody is really, really excited about playing at the Showplace in front of a neutral crowd.